Hey guys, how's it going? Tis back again with episode number two of the Chelsea career mode. And first things first, I want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you for going so absolutely mental with likes and comments and suggestions for transfers, etc. on yesterday's episode one. That was absolutely superb of you. I cannot thank you enough for giving that video as much support as you did. And please do continue to do that for the uh, for the rest of this series. Maybe we can hit 50 likes today again. Uh, I'll just throw that down as a little marker. Maybe we can surpass it The uh, as I'm recording this uh, which is coming up to 50 likes on yesterday's video so if we could hit that again today that'd be absolutely wonderful but as you can see we are into our first friendly game and we used uh, a few of the uh, few of the cutscenes at the beginning just to give kind of an impression of the new uh, new graphics etc so you can kind of get a feel for uh, for what the new system looks like if uh, you know you haven't been able to get yourselves hold of uh, of an Xbox one so far but uh, as always with pre-season friendlies in all of my career modes, we uh, we won't spend too much time looking at uh, individual chances, etc. So we will mainly just look at the main talking points, which are of course goals, maybe some uh, some big decisions, etc. But uh, this first clip here is going to end with Fernando Torres popping the ball into that top right-hand corner. Pouncing on the mistake from the defender to slot the ball really, really nicely into that far top corner. They've, uh, there's been a couple of calls for, uh, to say keep Fernando. There have been a couple of calls to say sell Fernando but if he's going to be finishing with that sort of uh, finesse and ability then I'm definitely keeping hold of him and how good do these replays look by the way the uh, they've kind of put like a motion blur on it like you know uh, if any of you have seen uh, the replays etc from uh, Pro Evolution Soccer the past few years they've had that little bit of motion blur it makes them look that little bit more realistic and uh, and with the new TV kind of angle with uh, the replays etc uh, it just gives you that you get so immersed in it you feels like you're just watching a game on uh, on Sky Sports etc. As well as playing FIFA at the same time, it's absolutely amazing. I I absolutely adore it. But as you can see, we're still in the transfer window. We're trying to bring in perhaps a centre back. So uh, we're going to try and put an offer in for Rafael Varane. They wanted 22 and a half, and I'm just not going to pay that, even though he's only 20 years old. Got fantastic uh, fantastic potential, but I'm going to offer 13 and a half. See what they say, and uh, we reject an offer for Gary Cahill there. £7 million from Montpellier. Uh, I'm not going to sell Gary Cahill, uh, let alone for uh, for just £7 million. We come into the second uh, pre-season friendly and the uh, the last game of this particular episode. And we actually went 1-0 down early on. They, uh, it was a good finish, actually, from uh, from their lad. Uh, El Yanusi, is it? But uh, Hoffenheim... Yeah, El Yanusi. But uh, Hoffenheim were a decent, decent opposition. Obviously, a little bit more taxing away in Germany against uh, a team of Hoffenheim stature than it was at home against Sosho. But uh, I also played a full rotated 11 apart from David Luiz. Just one quick thing I know. In this second replay, look at the way the grass flicks off the ball when he strikes it and it follows it. That is absolutely wonderful. Hopefully, YouTube, uh, when it kind of dumbs down the uh, the rendering quality etc doesn't butcher that too much and you can see the uh, the graphical fidelity there because it's absolutely amazing i really really cannot praise ea highly enough for the uh, for the sheer quality of this game right now and this is just the first title in what could be 8 9 10 on uh, on fifa we come really really close they're hitting the ball with a header from Messi and Really wanted to get back on level terms in this one, but we were struggling into the second half, so I made a change. Bought on Diego Costa, going to make his first appearance for the team. Not a competitive debut, but still a debut of sorts nonetheless. I do really love this new animation as well with the subbing. But look at Samuel Eto'o's body language there. He really didn't want to come off, didn't even welcome Diego Costa onto the pitch. So we may have some sort of friction there between uh, between the two strikers when they're uh, competing for first team places. But Diego Costa did what Samuel Eto'o couldn't, and he popped the ball into the back of the net to give us a 1-1 one, one draw from this one. A really good finish. Nice turn from William. Picked out Diego Costa really, really nicely. Brazilian teammate, of course. Although, actually, Diego Costa has recently, been, recently uh, changed his nationality or it will be playing uh, in the international scene for Spain because uh, he obviously has been playing in Spain for so long. He's now got dual nationality and uh, he's going to be playing for the Spanish national scene. But it's kind of a scruffy finish, but a realistic finish. And uh, very, very good indeed into that bottom corner. And that was enough to give us a draw from the final pre-season friendly of this particular episode. But we will be back in the next one with the final pre-season episode. So do be sure, or final pre-season game rather. So uh, do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to make sure that you don't miss out on any next-gen content coming up on Chesnoy game and as you can see in the background going to be scouting and uh, putting inquiries in for quite a few players that you guys left suggestions for in the comments Pogba was one really really keen on perhaps bringing him in also Mangala another centre-back perhaps uh, he and um, 
and Varane would be one of the two that we go for. Whilst I was looking at Porter players, I went and had a quick look at Danilo as well, the right back, because uh, he is young and full of potential as well. And I did put in uh, scouting reports and uh, inquiries for a few other players, including uh, Matteo De Chigli, is it, from uh, AC Milan, as well as a couple of others whose names uh, escape me right now. But uh, anyway, we got a reply back from Real Madrid. They didn't want 13 and a half, they wanted 17. Dropped it by five and a half million there from their first uh, their first uh, notification so uh, we're going to offer 15 when they want 17 and hopefully they will accept that and uh, we're going to put in a, a bid for Mangala as well 21 and a half is what they said so we went with 11 to start off with it is a little bit low I'm not going to deny that and uh, again the same with Danilo we're going to go in really really low they want 11 we're going to offer them 6 but if I can save money here and there when it comes to January we might have enough money to bring in maybe even perhaps a marquee signing should we need that little bit extra to uh, to boost our performances in the uh, in the league in the domestic cups and in Europe but uh, that is going to bring this particular episode to a close guys as you can see we're bringing uh, Bayer Leverkusen across to England to play at the Stamford Bridge for the third pre-season friendly and we will have the first game of the Premier League season in next Thursday's episode or this Thursday rather just two days time of course tomorrow will be the return of Pac-Man the uh, if you don't know the uh, the schedule that we currently have on this channel then feel free to check the about page on the channel page or have a look in the description and uh, that will let you know the uh, the layout of videos to come from uh, from me on this channel right now with Xbox One but as you can see there is an end slate on screen and there will be a link over the uh, over the the gameplay for yesterday's video if you did miss it feel free to check that out hit it up with a like etc and of course feel free to subscribe if you haven't already there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation over that subscribe button so thank you very much for watching guys thank you again for all the massive support so far on this xbox one stuff and uh, i will see you tomorrow